all right all right all right it's ketan here back again and today we are solving first and last digit problem from beginner level of code chef practice problems and the problem code is f l o w 004 flow 004 all right let's get into the problem if given an integer n write a program to obtain the sum of the first and last digit of this number so for example here 1 2 3 4 is given so we have to add 4 and 1 which are the last and first digits and the answer is 5 1 and 4 which is 5 2 and 3 which is 5 all right guys that's pretty simple uh, the question is straight forward let's get into how the input is given we have test cases t test cases 3 so and then t lines follow with integers this is very straight forward let's get let's just get into the solution uh this two way, they, we could do it in two ways but in python as we get the input as a string uh i think it will be better to do it as a string okay guys first we are getting the input and then yeah fire i in range of t uh we get s and then we just print int of s of 0 plus int of s of -1 Yeah, guys. So what's happening here is s of zero refers to the first index of this string. Uh, in Python, we get the inputs as string defaultly. So I'm just I'm not changing the default type of the input. So s carries the string, which is one, two, three, four, and s of zero refers to this, and s of minus one refers to four because minus indexing means we index from the last, right? And it starts with minus one, and this will be minus two, but we don't need that. we just have to check s of 0 and s of minus 1 right guys so we are converting them into integers int of s of 0 and then int of s of minus 1 because we have to add them right that's why we are converting into integers and then we are adding them and then we are just printing it out so it's very simple and it's very straight forward yeah if you if you wanted to do in an, uh, another way uh, especially in c we will have to go through each of the digits by doing the percentile and uh, division uh, when we do the percentile percentile 10 n percentile 10 will give you 4 first right then we have to divide it by 10 then n will be changed to 1 2 3 because the last digit will be deleted okay and then we have to uh, iterate over these two steps each time and when we are, when when we are at uh, we have to store the previous value and also the current value and the first thing uh, for the first when we do the first time we'll just add it to the sum and when we are at the last time uh, we'll also add it to the sum so we'll get into it if uh, in the c programming playlist of uh, these problems uh, it will be it will take some time to go into that kind of thing but we'll just do it in this way for now Uh, string handling is very easy especially in python yeah so this is very straight forward yeah let's check this uh with the in uh, custom inputs we should be getting 555 and we got it right let's submit it there we go yeah guys it's done but i i just want to mention a thing in the last problem i i did something uh, i didn't give the custom input and i ran I ran the code and obviously we got an error end of file and i uh, gave some bizarre explanation about there could be something wrong with the file of the codes of people but that's not the case uh, what actually happens is we have to give the custom input every time uh there is no file that 
has the input values defaultly so we have to give the custom input every time so that's a mistake on my part uh, i apologize for that and uh, yeah i'm just saying this to correct it yeah you can just submit it uh, check it with the custom input whenever you do a problem and if the input is right submit it and see if it is correct or not if it's not correct go back to your code and try it again all right guys thank you for watching uh, please like share and comment and subscribe if you want to watch more of this content and share it with your friends so that they can also learn something new if you have any doubts please comment down below and if you like the video like it